It's Thursday, September 25th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. A Jordanian court ruled on Wednesday that there is insufficient evidence to convict Muslim cleric Abu Qatada on terrorism charges. The 53-year-old, whose real name is Omar Uthman, had been accused of supporting a group of men who were planning to launch an attack on tourists and diplomats on New Year's Eve 15 years ago. He was cleared at a trial in June of involvement in a separate 1998 plot. Abu Khattada was granted asylum in the UK in 1994, but was deemed a national security threat and deported in 2013. Authorities say he won't be allowed back. A taco truck involved in a massive meth bust in Colorado is still serving food. 17 people were indicted on Monday after five weeks of surveillance operations led law enforcement officials to 55 pounds of meth. Suspected ringleader Juan Carlos Gonzalez is believed to have imported the drug from Mexico and then distributed the stash to his aunts and others for delivery from the Denver food truck. Officials say the owner of the truck was apparently unaware of the secret menu offerings and have allowed the business to continue running. Residents in northwestern Mexico have once again been told not to use water from the river because of a second toxic spill in six weeks. Mining giant Grupo Mexico has been ordered to set up a $150 million trust to pay damages for an August 7th accident that leaked 10 million gallons of sulfuric acid into the Sonora River Basin. The spill cut the water supply to 20,000 people in seven towns. The company has denied allegations that it lied about the cause of the accident and that it continues to spill toxic chemicals into the water. Scientists in Switzerland have reason to believe that electrical currents may help paralyzed people walk in the future. Researchers at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne have had success in getting rats to walk over obstacle courses by stimulating the severed parts of their spinal cords. The rats were implanted with flexible electrodes and were injected with a compound that releases neurotransmitters, which are chemicals that help the brain send signals to the rest of the body. The team hopes to start human trials by next summer. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. The acute concern right now is that they're going to get into the Great Lakes, which would be disastrous because the Great Lakes not only house 90% of America's fresh water and a $7 billion a year fishing industry, they connect to almost every major waterway in the Northeast. Wow. Yarn <laughs> right in the face. Oh, man. Fuck. Oh, God.